Hey everyone, it's your brother here, and this is going to be the first episode, hopefully of very many, of Let's Plays. I want to do indie games that you guys have developed past the point of demo or product, and play them on my YouTube channel. That way you guys can take them, give them to your friends, show them this cool video. It's a win-win for both of us. So the first game we have on the list is Soot by Neko Matata. It seems like it's a very simple game. He says it should take about 20 minutes to beat. So let's dive right in. So the first thing we have is this cute little character just kind of, I guess, waking up in the middle of nowhere. Uh, there's some really cute music playing in the background. Um, we've got some particle effects here in the sky. I don't know if I'm supposed to click anywhere. Doesn't seem like click does anything. So let's try the keyboard keys. Yep, so we do have some movement now. Some nice music in the background. We see something coming up here. So I don't know if this is like a collection game or what. I'm glad that I have survived. Oh, I didn't get to read it. We all bend to the light in the end. Journey this way. Oh, okay. So we're just going to follow the path that it tells us to. And I guess we're going to come to another... Uh, yep, there's another plant. Let's look at this guy for a second. He kind of gives me... the feels of like a Legend of Zelda kind of character. Like Skull Kid. The world is so dark and full of this dust. The darkness is ever growing ever spreading follow again oh listen to that music it's changing you are little just like me we may have even drifted from the same sea pod you might have been my sprite in another time we might have grown roots together I love the music is changing. Go to the one who calls. Instead of this weird ominous piano, now we have like a whole orchestra going on. If I decide not to follow? Okay, so it's totally making me go that way because I don't even have the camera to go opposite or any other way. I like the little bubbles. Am I walking on water, or is that supposed to be like my dash motion? Because it, it kind of looks like I'm, it's bubbling. The ground is bubbling. I feel I'm fading. Will you stay with me? Oh, absolutely, buddy. Don't die. Why are you all dying? What's that? Do I have a jump ability or anything? Nope, I don't have any jump. It's just who I am right now. Ooh. What is that? Oh, 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 now I have some direction. Can I click? Jump? Nothing? What the heck? Oh. What is that thing? Is it like a bacteria? Kind of looks like a barnacle. Oh, maybe I am underwater. These are just underwater plants, maybe? There's another one. Woo! They make me jump. Oh, snap. We'll go like this so we can try to catch more of this. Oh, 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 snap. Oh, snap. I'm falling. I don't want to die. What's that one? Uh-oh. Was that one just not colored? <laughs> Keep going. No. Boink. Boink. This is neat. But I don't see any other ones that I can hit. And then I fall back down. Uh oh. That's not good. I don't like the spinny thing now. Because I can't, I can't determine 
exactly where the next one is because you know my camera is a fixed camera so I just have to hope I hit the next one like okay wait they're all turning white maybe I'm supposed to make them go from black to white maybe that's what I'm supposed to do let's let's keep doing that dang it to hit the ones that are not white now Ah, okay. Just a little confused with direction was all. So now we have one giant plant that was the tower. And that was Nekomatata. Soot. That was interesting. So let's talk about that for a second. We've got this cute little creature who's walking through the abyss and he's talking to these different little plants and they're all pointing towards the tower. Hmm. What what was the purpose of that tower? I want to go back into this game actually. I want to look at the first text to see what it said because I did miss that. So let's pull that back up and I want to look at that one more time. So our little creature, he's laying on the ground, he wakes up, and he starts looking around. We've got very simple, just some, a piano in the background, and he just walks. Notice that this thing like turns towards me. I'm glad that I have survived long enough to help you to the greater sprout. We all bend to the light in the end. Journey this way. So we all bend towards the light. We all go towards the light. And the greater sprout apparently was affected. The world is so dark and full of this dust. Ah, the darkness is ever growing, ever spreading. And the darkness was the stuff that was on the greater sprout. Okay, that makes sense. So that was its purpose. That was the, the point of us going there, was to free the greater sprout, which in the end, it looked like the sprout had grown and was able to become big again. You were little just like we. We may have ever even drifted from the same seed pod. You might have been my sprite in another time. We might have grown roots together and dead. So all of them are dying because of the dust? That's so sad. But what am I? Why? What was my purpose? Was this my sole purpose? Was to revive the greater Sprite? The greater Sprout? Sprite. Not sponsored. Am I like the Legend of Zelda coming to save the castle? I'll stay with you even though you're getting ready to die. light I've ever seen in this dark place. Please come closer. Will the sunlight ever return? So they are dying and we are reviving this sprout by clearing it of these debris. Interesting. We must be some sort of guardian then sent because we're not another sprout. We're not, we don't really look plant-like in any way, shape or form. So there has to be, you know, some greater purpose for us. We have to be some sort of guardian over this great light or this sprout. And these parasites, you know, something that's poisoning or halting the life of the tree why we're here to stop that we'll just go through this little end animation one last time to make sure we didn't miss anything 
So we go to the top of the tree. We start to see the thing light. We, we do see it is growing. We see more leaves coming off of it. And everything has been returned. And then we get soot. Soot. So a fire causing contamination, making the plants not be able to survive. Maybe it's something like that. Um, who knows? Well, guys, that's it for this episode. Make sure you comment, like, subscribe, share this to your friend. I'm going to attempt to do one of these every Tuesday. And then on Saturday and Sunday, I do have my regular stream on Twitch. I do 7 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. On Saturdays, we do a mainstream game. So anything like a AAA title is what we're doing right now. And then on Sundays, we do the weekly game jam. And the weekly game jam is simply a game jam that we do every week. Oh, what a surprise. Uh, we do a theme for each of these game jams, so it's always different every single week. And we usually have anywhere between 10 to 15 games that I play for about two, two hours, two and a half hours. Uh, it's been really cool so far. I've loved it. The developers come in and talk with us. So it, it's pretty neat to see and ask any question you could think about the game. So thanks for coming by. See you later, you guys.